okay today we'll discuss about how to create streaming custom command in splunk okay so streaming command means it the, the command works on each and every event wise right so previously we have seen how to create generating custom command in splunk now in this video we will be creating the streaming custom command now we will be using the inter splunk python module as well okay now there are uh, uh, certain other ways sub, sub, most sophisticated ways to create uh, generating command or streaming command in splunk using python sdk uh, we'll be seeing in, in in later videos those those stuff but for this video we'll be using more simplistic approach uh, by the interest splunk python module okay now before i move on let me show you the previously created generating custom command okay and how it works so the command name was get gener right and uh, there is an input called star so what it is doing uh, behind it's basically calling this tmdb api this get gener api movie gener api right with the api key and based on that it is basically the api is returning the different general ids and their corresponding names so this data basically we are sending to splunk for output purpose right and how we are sending the data is through splunk.intersplunk module okay so let me show you the code first okay what it was doing so do that to do that i'll go to etc apps tmdb app bin folder okay this is this was my code right so we have a tmdb api call module right so it's a generic module uh, which is basically placing a call to the tmdb api and there is a get general detail module where we are passing a general id based on that input either it could be star or it could be a very specific general id name um, based on that it will be fetching the data corresponding data by by accessing this api right so and also the input i, I was taking as a sys.rgfi array now for streaming custom command the approach will be little bit different okay now before i uh, jump into streaming custom command implementation let me show you the a sample output of this particular api now i just remove i just come uh, uh, commented out the splunk.intersplunk call because i am running this script from the external python okay just wanted to show you what what is exactly the output format so if i paste give star over here so it is basically giving me all this same it's, it's it's a list of different different dictionaries if you see here okay now for a specific also let's say 28 right so it's basically giving me again a list with a single dictionary element okay now for streaming command let me show you from the python sorry uh, splunk prompt what what is our requirement so to do that i will what i'll do i'll go to my tmdb index so this will be my query and then i'll okay, let's just run that with all time okay so now as our general ids are json array so i'll be doing mb expand on general ids then i will be doing rename rename of general ids okay then i will take let's say couple of columns with movie id general id original language and original title okay so now if you see for streaming custom command my requirement is to for each and every general id it should create a new field called general name okay with the corresponding general names okay now my command will be something like this this is here my command will be there okay so initially i will uh, i will implement uh, uh, without any kind of parameter then then we'll see how to pass a parameter as well okay so now what we'll do is we'll go to this script okay so now we'll copy this script and paste it over here similar way we have implemented get journal right we'll implement this guy as well 
so I will rename this script as getGen underscore stream okay now as you know for custom command there is a commands.conf as well right we need to, which we need to maintain so there should be an entry over here so here my command name will be now this command should run this script right get generation underscore stream and command name let's say i'll give this one so this will be my command name which will be running this script okay so let's just save it and and then we will work on the get general underscore stream okay we'll edit this file okay now before i implement uh, the actual stuff let me show you how intersplunk looks like okay so intersplunk module you can find find it in splunk python 2.7 lib site packages okay splunk and here you will see the intersplunk module okay so now as i said here this data i have to pass it at least this generate data generate data i have to pass it to the script right so that means from the splunk i have to send some data to the python module so in get uh, in, in intersplunk there is a method called i think read result it's called by another guy this guy so get organized results so this this one basically gets the data from splunk and pass it to the python script as a dictionary okay so we'll be using this one if you see this one is returning three things right results dummy results and string this results is actually this whole stuff okay each and every with each and every columns okay um, and dummy results and settings are always uh, empty dict so you can ignore that okay so we, we will first do this thing so to implement that what we'll do is we will create a new method definition let's say we'll name it as process events okay so what it will do so first it will get the data from python right so by splunk dot intersplunk dot this method name right get organized results organized results so i got my result okay so now what i will do i will loop through it because for each and every general row i need to get the general id and then the general id i have to get the general name so i will loop through it for general in i'll say result result in results okay so now what will be my general id it will be my this result and then the general id column right as it is a dictionary it is passing is passed as a dictionary to this script okay so this will be my general id now what i will do i will call this get general detail program right because with, with this with a specific general id to get the general id values right because if you see this this method program what it is doing it is accessing that api and if you provide any specific general id it is basically comparing and and creating that list accordingly right so to make it this program more faster I can add a break statement here so that it will not loop through all the all the genres so it will just when it find it out a genre it will just break the loop okay so now i'll call this one so i'll let's say i'll say gen genre detail right equals to my get general detail with this general id correct so i got this kind of structure now 
right specific journal with id and name now what i will do i will now the way we can pass it again back to splunk is to add create a new field under this results okay so if you see the the results is basically is a list of all the fields available to this splunk query right so if i add a new field the query output will have another new field here so this is how we will create a new field so what we will do okay i will say result okay keep in mind i am looping the result results through this result one i am adding in this result only okay not in results okay so let's say general name general name okay so how it will be so it is giving me a list right so this is a list general detail then as it has only one element that's why first element then i have to get the name field only right the name key value to get the general name right so this is how i am adding a general name then what i am doing i am just using this splunk output results splunk inter splunk output results i am just outputting this value results value back to splunk okay so i do not need this one now and i do not need these things all these things okay so now whenever my script will be getting called i will be calling this one only so my let me check out the indentations and all i think everything looks cool yep so so my script is almost ready my commands.conf is ready right so what i'll do i'll restart the splunk once so i'll go to settings server control restart splunk okay so when my splunk is getting restarted so let, let let's recap what what we have done it over here so so when my my custom command will run it will call this program right so this program eventually what it will do it will get the data existing data the output data from splunk then it will loop through those data and get the general ids right and then it will pass the general id to this program to get the general name and then it will create a new field called general name to this existing result set and with this general name whatever i am getting through this api call okay this is what we will and then using this splunk dot inter splunk dot output results i am just passing it back to the splunk now if you see when i am creating a new field i am creating in this result okay but when i am passing it to the splunk again i am passing this the whole whole set you have to remember this one okay now let's go back to our app okay so let's go back to tmdb app and run that query okay so i have saved the query somewhere i think so we'll do one thing we'll we'll run this one for first 10 records only okay to just to see what exactly is going on now if you see so i i, I i've just taken the first 10 records for faster processing now it should return the corresponding general names uh, when when this it it's finished if you see here so each and every general id i think movie id is not the field name id is the field name anyway you, you got the idea so each and every general id uh, correspondingly the general name has been created the 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 field new field okay so let, let's let rerun again with this uh, id because i think movie id is not the co actual column name for movie ids so it was blank okay so so we, ha we have seen how how we can create a streaming custom command without a parameter okay now now everything is fine okay now we will see how to pass a parameter as well okay now one of the use case could be like uh, i can pass any any a specific general id let's say 14 or 28 or anything right mm, 
and correspondingly so that that means if i pass 14 here so the fantasy is the journal name right will be there for all the rows maybe it is not the best use case to implement but that's i just wanted to show you even you can pass a parameter as well now i'll go back to interstplan.py okay now there is a method called output stream not output results I think it is this latter part it, it's a very small code base maybe when you get time just just go through it it's a very interesting code base mm, get keywords and options this is a method which basically mm, deals about the input we are passing to the function okay our, our command so through this method if you see this method is returning two things one is keywords another is key value pairs okay now keywords are you you just pass a parameter something like this parameter something like this for 14 so it will be a parameter there will be no parameter name right so by this keywords you can implement that and now if i say gener id equals to 14 so this one key value pairs you can do it through this kvs okay so in this one i will just implement the simplest one only the 14 the other one is same you just just the data structure is different just a um, dictionary one okay so we'll you will be using this one so i'll copy this one okay i'll go to my generate the stream okay here what i'll be doing is what we're doing here is i will copy this one keywords and kvs okay these are the two kinds of output from this program and then splunk dot intersplunk dot keyword and options get keyword and options okay so this will be an array okay so in now in my general general id will be this array and the first element right this will be my first element now rest of the stuff will be same as is okay so now if i just run my program with get gener 14 let's see what's going on so it should return fantasy for all the different different events or for the different different rows here okay okay if you see the fantasy has been written for all the rows so we have implemented the uh, uh, implemented the input as well okay so now so we have done two things here like uh, by by modifying this this script get gener with little bit one we have done achieve two things we have implemented a streaming custom command without a parameter or input and we have implemented a streaming custom command with the input as well okay so this is how you can create a simplistic streaming custom command in splunk see you in next video